I'm doing that. Any thoughts? Yeah, I did speed at times because I'm too lazy to uh, follow the speed limits. It does look good. Um, the scenery's done amazing. The only downside of how good the scenery is is I've not got a four machine. Um, my machine's different to what it used to be. I've got a, a eighth generation i5, um, and it does um, slow down when it's loading. But in saying that, I do have this running off a USB three external hard drive. Yeah, I've got no idea when it's going to be available for release. He does intend to release it, and that's why he's like showing it off so much now. But once you're in the group, I'm sure he'll be able to answer those questions. Oh, see, it's just loaded. There you go, four people approved. Right then. This is the next part. I've got to set this up because it's one of those Armstrong powerhouse do diddies and I keep forgetting how to do this. These are great little things, but they're not exactly uh, trains that you use. You don't want to concentrate. Oh. Right, this one is um, going to be a non-stop run from Shoebury to Fenchurch Street by the main line. Have a quick look around first. Got Shubernes Station here. Again, he's he's crying out for some custom assets. I'm sure he'll be able to get some. Um, and that just when you glimpse at it, it looks like Shubernes. There's no doubts about it. There's the depot laid out as accurately as you can expect given the simulation. Um, another little treat is uh, when you come here, this is Pigs Bay. Which I don't know if anyone knows what Pigs Bay is, but it's the MOD railway that comes off of Shubriness. And it's where, um, when the slam doors were being withdrawn from all over the country, they were taken there to have all the asbestos ripped out of them. Um, but it's got all the sidings in here, so there's going to be no ends of options for shunting and running scrap trains and as you say and you will be able to go through Forest Gate Junction and onto the start of North London line so there's quite a lot of um, potential for interesting running this is what amazes me with the route the amount of work he's just put into it it's awesome Loads and loads of slam doors ended up in Pigs Bay. They had the the, um, the MOD there had the contract to de-asbestos them before they got crushed. Speeding again. We don't have... A lot of stock for this. I know he's had the, the 302s made. But I'm not sure they'll ever be drivable. They are from the original Railworks. Obviously, 315s never ran this route. Um, I don't even know if they're past to run the route. I know 317s and 321s are. But it's 
a lovely train. So that's Shubin S sidings. That's where I work. I don't know, I've got that HUD up there. I can drive this without that. You'll find a lot of the custom assets are on this end of the line as well. Now we're in proper trains, none of this kettle rubbish. Okay, Ben. Oh, bye. Back on it. I'm going to run it without the HUD, and hopefully, I won't derail. drive this to the modern speeds so we're going to be speeding in a lot of places but meh Woodgrange Park uh, Woodgrange Park Woodgrange Foot Crossing Woodgrange Drive Alpha ND station coming up. Riviera Drive. As I say, you know where you are on this route. It really is good. The old disused platforms, which are all now the new station concourse. These relay cabinets in the forefoot, I asked about these, they're actually there as reminders for him because he's got work to do on those sections of track. Quite funny, I was saying, what's all these relay cabinets doing everywhere? So, oh yeah, I forgot to take those off. So they're not glitches, they're intentional reminders for him. In one of his earlier builds of the route, he had the university where this car park is, um, but obviously it didn't exist then, so. Okay, this is done by Scott. You know the guy who spoke to you about your route? We have got gradients now. Oh, yeah. yeah, now you know Scott, he's um, quite a reserved chap. But you have spoken to him. He, he was, you were discussing issues with your route and he was trying to help you out with it.
West Cliff, all downhill here. It's like this bridge. This is um, Valkyrie Road. It's in the right place. Yeah, as I said, Ben, the relay cabinets are there as a reminder for him because he's got some track work to do. All this slowed down, it's where it's loading off my external hard drive. So if obviously if you've got it installed on a proper drive, it won't be an issue. Well, you've joined the group. I'm sure we'll talk to you. Slow down here because we're coming up to the seaside. Again, this footbridge is just like it is in real life. Fifty five around here. And this is our little bit of Dawlish on the LTS. Originally it was going to run along the seafront all the way to South End, but they diverted it. Um this bridge is a custom asset. It is the actual bridge that's in that location. I think I was having the HUD off. I've got no idea what speed I'm doing. Up in a minute, and I know I keep saying it, but this is what this looks like at this part of Leon Sea. It looks like this. I mean, there's the cockle sheds along there, and if you if you, you know, if you use a bit of um, imagination with the actual buildings themselves, because they're not accurate to what's there, but the locations are. Uh, I drive 357s and 387s, Captain. I'm one of the 13 drivers on the LTS that drives the 387s. Leon C signal box. This was a travesty. When it was re-signalled, um, this was listed and they couldn't pull it down. Um, so... British Rail at the time basically claimed it stopped, it blocked viewing of a signal and it had to be removed and they got permission to rip down the listed signal box. These, This is an old, um, it's not actually here, it's got to be moved, but that was an old horse-drawn tramway across the railway because the farmers wanted a siding and they weren't given one. Hadley Castle, again, it's a custom asset, that's actually there, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, they they did. Um, it was it was it was quite a a big thing at the time. I mean, it was before I joined the railway, but I remember the ruckus in the local papers because there's not a signal it blocks a view of. That's the thing. It'd been re-signalled already, and it wasn't blocking the view of any signal. I don't know how they got away with it, but they did. I mean, I know they're, they're old, they're, you know, they take a lot of money to maintain if you're not going to use them to maintain, but, you know, some things, some things just need looking after. Well, we've got a pub, we had a pub on the seafront that um, they weren't allowed to refurbish and turn into flats, so that mysteriously burned down the other day. Not that I'm accusing anyone of anything. It is mighty suspicious. Right, I've got to slow down here. I'm going a bit fast. Coming up to Ben Fleet. 
which again, you have got a boat yard here at Benfleet. That's the creek to Canvey Island. That's Canvey Island over there. This is Ferry Road Crossing. It's like the road under bridge is there. uphill from here all going up here quite steep or relay cabinets Yes, this, this end of the route, the stations are very close. Um, the, the line was built. It was built as a passenger railway. Um, originally, it, w it was built to take um, day trippers to Gravesend, cheaper than using the South Eastern. We used to get a ferry from Tilby Riverside where we finished the last activity. Um, and it built up a lot of commuter traffic. So when they built, um, this part's part of the original route, but where we get to Pitsy, we take a right hand turn and that was built in the 1890s and it was built just to make the trip to south end quicker for commuters um, so this is one of the rare railways that has always made its money on passengers always um, so this end is quite dense with stations with the pub that burnt down my attitude was um, the council should say to the developers yeah, you can build on the site, you can build another pub. But I'm sure they won't. This is the Pitsy upsiding, and there's the Pitsy downsiding, which nowadays isn't electrified, but in the 1990 it was. Pitsy signal box, that's the actual signal box that's there. It's not in use anymore. The mom uses it. What are we doing for time? What are people's thoughts on the route so far? I'm interested in knowing. Yeah, you can. It's, it's, see, because I've had access to this route um, on request. You know, If he's done something, I've just said, Scott, can I have a copy? And he'd always give me a copy right from the very start. And when you see how he's progressed with it over time, and that includes some complete restarts he's done at times, um, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I know, Captain. Um and it uses a lot of Dovetail Games assets. Um, again, Scott will have the details, but it will need an awful lot of DLC to run. Oh, 
I think it's a fair way out from being released as well at the moment. Um, but scenically, it's more or less complete, which I think is why he likes the idea of showing it off. He actually showed it off because I told they gave me a copy um, to look at a few weeks ago. He tried; they're not interested, I believe. Um, but he gave me um, a copy to look at last week, and I said, to "Scott, this has improved so much. I want to show it off." I asked him if I could do this stream. Which he said yes. Tab through this signal at Landon because I'm sure it's not going to clear for us. These Kuju junction signals are terrible. Invariably they clear when you're on top of them. That one didn't. Yes, it did. There you go. I hate that. Again, Blandon Station. Um, this signal box is long gone. It's actually a power box that they use now. As I say, I don't know what his plans are for releasing this. He does have plans in motion. I think a complete rebuild he did this a while ago was because he did use a lot of um, assets from just trains routes and a lot of other routes. And it would have just been like too much to organise. There's a nice gradient here. This is the Dunton Bank. And again, these homes, these uh, campsite thing, that's there. In a real life, on the other side of this bridge is a golf course. I don't know if that's there. Speeding, schmeeding. Actually, 75 down here. Now, I want to try out with my Western Main Lines to be finished. I've really bought into that. I just got the Cornish bit I need now, and I'm happy. I, I tried. I wanted to do um, Carlisle to Newcastle, um, but I just I just can't. Oh great! As long as I get it finished, I love the idea of crashing my machine by running to trying to run down to Penzance. Oh crap. I hate these. It's definitely got to change these. These Kuju signals suck.
don't know if anyone likes Playmobil, but they're based there in the UK. It is a lovely route, Ben. I love it. I go up there for me holidays. We go to Hawk Whistle for me holidays and we travel on that route for a day out in um, Newcastle and a day out in Carlisle. Yeah, well, at West Horndon there is where their um, UK head office is on the industrial park. They're really good, actually. It was when my boy was little, we bought him one of the Playmobil steam train sets and a bit broke and I contacted them and uh, they let me just turn up and pick up a spare part. I've got a question for you actually. I noticed on Steam um, they've got the East Coast Main Line from Peterborough to York now or something like that. Is that actually any good? Well, CK, when he's finished with this, um, he does have plans to modernise it to make it as is now. He kept uh, that route. It doesn't seem like it'd be very interesting to drive because it's just two track all the way. Um, we need a 387. I used to have a reskin of the Network Southeast. Now I've been out of the because I've been working so much. I haven't even been looking at the content for this. And I've got lots of content for this. Right, up Minster Junction. To the left is the next bit we'll be doing. Over there, you've got the Romford branch, and this is where the district line starts, obviously. Oh, right, so it is the Creative Rail East Coast Main Line. Yeah, I've got China Clay. Um, I really wanted to buy China Clay when it was on their website, but it seemed so expensive for what it was. When it came out on Steam, I bought it, and I'm glad I waited, to be honest with you. Railway never does anything on time, Ben. Our new trains were supposed to be in service this year. They're not going to be here until 21, probably. Um, they're getting the um, same type of train as they're using on Crossrail. Nine car ones. Getting six nine car units, I believe. They don't make electro stars anymore. The three eight the six three eight seven threes we've got were the last electro stars to be made. Porterbrook bolted them onto the end of the Great Western Order, um, and then we were desperately in need for a train, so 
they're charging us through the nose. Run nose. I'm not doing much introduction of my green. He's done so much work on this bit. Um, the underground stations are laid out correctly. All these these ones, like this, were built by the LMS. Barking to this is Dagenham East. Oh, saw a double yellow signal there. Heathway, and again, as I keep saying, these look like their actual locations, which is what you want, I think. It'll be interesting signaling the underground with the two aspect signals. Right, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through platform 8, which is what the trains do when they go off to Liverpool Street, but we're not going to Liverpool Street. Yeah, I've, I've got the Chiltern route, so I haven't actually driven them properly yet. I want to. I'm waiting for them to release the S-Stock. I do like the S-Stock for some reason. I'll be dumping that on here, definitely. I do not know, Jenks. Um, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be, but there's not an awful lot of it, is there? It's only really got from Tower Gateway to Limehouse. And you need stock, obviously. That's just a big hurdle. I 
I'll take it. I can. Uh... Well, they do drive it manually, Jenks. There is a BVE route that's the Docklands Light Railway in manual mode. Um, I say with the S8s, I'm hoping we can like drop a coach and run it on the district line. But the BVE Docklands route is really good. Try and find it if you can find it nowadays. I've got no idea where you'd find that. Well, this is the up connector. No, that's fine, Rob. I'll be buying it the moment it's released. Don't got to worry about that. That is on my uh, must-buy list. Has been for a long time now. Now, um, on the left is the old goods avoiding line. Um, which was ripped up in a resignaling in 93. You can still see the track bed for it and the uh, plastic table troughs where it used to go under the rails. These are the famous barking flyovers. I seem to remember it being a real headache. I'm sure you'll recognise this bit. We're back at East Ham. Again, this is uh, what it looks like going for East Ham Station. And difference is there's a wall along here. They used Ben as a draft horse. That's what they did. Rounded someone's steamroller, wrapped it around his waist, and made him pull it.
It might have been 40, 90, 90 round here, but I'm not doing 40. <laughs> The East London suburbs, obviously. West Ham low level. What do we leave at twelve o'clock? That's uh, seven o'clock. Well, it's gonna be about forty seven, forty eight minutes for a set of cars, it's not bad. Now, this is Docklands, obviously. Uh, there you go. Low Church Station. I'll spam the Facebook um, link again, in case anyone wants it. Um, you'd have to ask him. It's, it's a group to discuss the route. It's not like a, a super secret group or anything like that. It's just set that's closed, so don't get sunglasses sellers come into it. Um, but it's, it's just to discuss anything about this route. Um, he doesn't give it out, so want to go in there and say can I have a copy you'd like to be disappointed but um, it's where you'll get the information on how he's doing and any plans he's got and whatnot he's always on it Jenks can you smell burning can't smell burning it's probably all right I have to do this yeah
Ah, three floors down, eh? I'm still disappointed I can't get my Alexa to respond to mother. Right, we'll very soon be at Fenchurch Street. The next bit I'm going to do, which will be the last bit, will be from Upminster to Cray. Um, this one has taken me 45 minutes, which for a non-stop set of cars is about right, obviously without traffic. But you're thinking about your food, aren't you? Yeah, 46 minutes this run. Here we are back at glorious Fenchurch Street. I need to stream more. I enjoy streaming. I just struggle getting motivated when I get home from work. I'm going to be streaming more varied stuff on the channel. PS4 games, like simulator and stuff. And there we go. How do we do? Oh, I've just got to make Langdon a stop. I took oh well. Right. So, next one. <laughs> 